What's up everyone? That STEM guy here, coming at you from the medieval battlefield where we just laid siege to this castle with our catapult. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this awesome little catapult out of only a few simple supplies. Now, this build is my own remix on the Science Max catapult, so be sure to check out their channel to see their version as well. My remix makes this version of the catapult a little bit more accessible to elementary students and allows for quick and easy adjustments so that you can really dial this thing in and make it the perfect firing machine. Remember to always use proper eye protection when firing your catapult. So let's dive in and check out the build. So the first step is to take four pencils, arrange them in a square, and then wrap a rubber band around them, holding the shape together. Now you're gonna wanna repeat that with four other pencils to make the base of your catapult. Next, take your jumbo crap stick and work it in between your pencils. Repeat the process on the bottom as well. Secure each crap stick in the corner with a rubber band. You'll then attach this new C shape into the other set of pencils, creating a rectangular raft shape that will make up the base of our catapult. Next, we're gonna add some rubber bands around the middle of our base. This is what's gonna help us create tension in order to fire our catapult. Only use as many rubber bands as necessary. You don't want the base to start twisting. So make sure it holds its rectangular shape. Next, take another craft stick and put it in between your rubber bands. And then twist it around to build up that elastic energy. Next, we're gonna take our craft stick and push it up so that it creates a lever. We are then gonna secure the spoon onto the craft stick using a rubber band. Now, I like to use two rubber bands here, one at the base and one near the top of the spoon to make sure that it holds on firmly. Next, we're gonna take our glue dots. Now, I love glue dots because it takes away the need for hot glue and it's great for elementary students so they don't burn themselves. We're gonna make an A-frame. Actually, we're gonna make two A-frames. Now, I like to lay them on top of each other when I build my A-frames. This way, I know that both pair are going to be of equal spacing. You're now gonna take one of your A-frames and work it into your pencil base. Push the craft stick in between the two pencils vertically, and you'll repeat that same process on the other side. Push your popsicle sticks down a tiny bit to give four legs to lift your catapult base off of the ground, allowing the lever to turn. Next, we're gonna take our final pencil and lay it on top of our A-frame, but first we wanna bend back our lever and rest it against the pencil holding the tension. Secure the pencil to the A-frame just by looping a rubber band around it. Once you have that done, make any necessary adjustments to make sure your catapult is nice and even. Now it's time for the fun. Let's test out our catapult. I love using mini marshmallows, but you can also use cotton balls, eraser tops, and even ping pong balls. Go ahead and pull your lever back, load your payload, and fire away. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this build, please make sure to mash that like button and smash that subscribe button to follow along for more build videos like these, STEM product reviews, lesson plans, lesson overviews, what I wish I knew, program building tips. I got all sorts of great content on my channel and a lot more coming out in the future. So remember, no matter where you are learning from today or where you are teaching from today, I hope that you are having a great day and I will see you next time.